Hello, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video I'm about to show you is a replay of a live Qigong class which I taught this morning via Zoom. I'll be teaching these classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays every week for the duration of COVID-19 and until I can get back into my face-to-face -face acupuncture and Chinese medicine clinics. This video is suitable for those of you who are beginners and also anyone who might have a little bit more advanced Qigong training. I hope you enjoy it and if you'd like to join me for the live classes then please click the link which is next to this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube then so you don't miss future videos that I upload here just hit the red subscribe button. But this is a good morning exercise to do because it's a kind of wake you up kind of exercise. It's a Qigong face massage. And what it is, is it's part of a whole body massage to preserve your health. And obviously at this time where many of us are still in lockdown, we are wanting to make sure our immune systems are in tip top condition and our energy levels are really good, then we want to be preserving our health as best as possible. So this is a really easy thing you can do. Usually it's best to practice it first thing in the morning, but you can practice it any time of day, especially if you find you get a little bit tired. If, you know, For those of you who maybe get a bit of a slump in energy, after lunchtime and you want to have a little lie down but you can't um, then you can do this quick face massage and it will really kind of enliven your senses because you'll see when we do it we're working with kind of nearly all the sense organs when we do this so I hope you enjoy it it's really fast once you get the idea of the routine I'll show it to you and as I said you can practice it sitting as I am you can be um, standing up for this the only thing I wouldn't do with this is practice it lying down because you do need to be able to get your hands around to the back of your head and that's really difficult when you're lying down, okay? So just to begin with then, if I can ask you just to be in your comfortable sitting or standing position. And if you're sitting, the hands can be resting face down or face up on your knees. If you're standing, the hands are dangling down by your sides. Or you can place one or both hands over your lower belly area, that area we call Dantian. And then closing your eyes. Yours, yeah. Yours isn't? Close the mouth. I don't know what I'm using now. Probably Tilstra. The tongue is resting against the roof of your mouth and the tip of your tongue is resting against the back of your upper teeth. And just check for a moment that there's no tension in your jaw just by wiggling your jaw from side to side. And then closing the mouth again. So the breath is in through the nose and out through the nose. As you breathe in, feel the belly expand, getting bigger like blowing up a balloon. As you breathe out, feel the belly shrinking and sinking back towards the spine. So rather than trying to make that happen in any forceful way, what we're aiming for is a breath that's smooth and soft and silent, almost like you're observing it happening rather than making it happen. So you're really creating a lovely relaxed state by which you can allow that breath to very smoothly enter and leave the body. And with any Qigong exercise, it's always really good to start with some abdominal breathing. So I think, as I mentioned in the previous video, it's a bit like you're starting a sentence with a capital letter. So we know this is the start by doing the abdominal breathing. And then at the end, you will finish with abdominal breathing again. And that's like the full stop at the end of the sentence. So it's really giving a very clear message to your body and your mind of the start and the end of the practice.
So now, just slowly opening your eyes, and you're going to follow along with me. Okay, so as I said, this is a Qigong facial massage. So it's going to stimulate the channels of qi or energy flow around the head and the face, and there are loads of them. There's a lot of acupuncture points on the head and on the face. So this is going to be quite enlivening, quite stimulating. It's um, often thought, and, and in Chinese medicine and in Qigong, they spend quite a lot of time doing face massage because this is like giving yourself a little beauty treatment. It brings more circulation to the skin. It plumps up the skin. So it's better than any kind of Botox or expensive facials to be able to do this every day can really make a difference to how you, your face looks in terms of the tone of the muscle and the texture of the skin as well. Um, but also because it's stimulating all of these channels that run through the head and the neck, the face, it's working on all of those. Obviously those channels run elsewhere in the body. They're not just confined to the head. So that will have an effect on the chi of the whole of your body. And that's why it's a really great exercise to do to preserve the health. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by focusing on the eyes. And what I'd like you to do is actually, before that, we actually get bring a bit of chi into the hands. So what I'd like you to do is just rub your hands together and count 24 times for rubbing. In Qigong, we have this thing about numbers. So this is in 24s until we get to the end. If it's more than 24 or just a little bit less, it doesn't matter. Obviously, I can't be counting because I'm talking to you. So I'm just going for whatever I think is around 24. So you should feel some heat in the hands now. And then what I want you to do is your middle finger and your ring fingers, these two, I want you to place them on your eyes like this. Now, as you do that, just check that you've dropped your shoulders. Drop your shoulders so you haven't got any tension in that shoulder area. So your Hello. eyelids are closed and you've got your fingers, the ring and the middle fingers just gently touching the eyes. And what I'd like you to do now is again, 24 times, you're going to just rub the eyes in and out just very gently no pressure really just feeling that contact of the fingers with the skin and as you do this where is your mind you put your mind into your eyeballs so all that lovely heat you've just generated in your hands is chi so that chi now is massaging your eyes giving energy to your eyes, improving your clarity of vision, brightening the eyes. And breathing into your belly, not forgetting the breath. Okay, and now slowly opening the eyes and now taking your index finger and your middle finger so these two okay and you're going to place the index finger behind and the middle finger in front of your ears the rest of the hands can just be kind of out to the side here and now we're focusing on the ears so rubbing the ears up and down so the fingers either side of the ears back and front breathing you can close your eyes or you can have them open to Thank watch you me very much. Oh. Okay, and then relaxing. And now we're going to work on the nose. So now placing the tips of the fingers together and the thumbs are together as well. If you can see there, if I show you my thumbs. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the thumbs over the nose here. So don't worry about the tips of the fingers and the fleshy parts of the thumbs you're going to use to rub up and down the nose 24 times. So up and down. So massaging the sides of the nose with the fleshy parts of the thumbs, putting your mind into the nose, into your sense of smell. Really bringing more chi into the nasal cavity.
Okay, and now taking the hands over the top of the head and around to the back. So I'm just going to turn around now and show you what I'm going to ask you to do, just in case you can't hear me when my voice is away from the mic. I'm going to ask you to rub the back of the head up and down with the thumbs and the index finger, but I'll show you the area now. It's really just where the head and the neck join. So I'll just turn around for a second. So if you can see, I've got my fingers flat here and I'm rubbing up and down like this. So with this, you can use quite a bit of pressure, especially if you notice any tension in this area. If this is an area for you that gets tight or you suffer with any headaches, you're stimulating the acupuncture points here that help to relieve headaches. So this is a really nice one to use even just on its own. Don't forget to breathe. And this is one where we don't worry about how our hair looks because you'll probably end up with hair all over the place at the end of this. Okay, and then bringing your hands one in front of the other, thumbs pointing up towards the ceiling and that palms are facing towards you. So now bring your hands close to your face and from the corners of your mouth, you're going to run the thumbs up, hands are flat, up over the top of your head, coming around, hands flatten around the back of the head and now really pressing down on the shoulders as you bring the hands around to the front again. So we're going to do this nine times. So that was one. Don't forget to breathe, coming around the back and now use a bit of pressure at the back of the body. Using your abdominal breath. Really focusing on smoothing the flow of chi through the whole of the face and then from the top of the head all the way down back down into the shoulders. And then when you've done that just bringing the hands back down to rest one hand over the other on the lower belly. Now close your eyes. Breathe in and out through the nose. And now think about how you feel, especially in the head and the face area. How does that area feel? Some people notice more warmth more maybe tingling even. You may have noticed there as you did that massage that you were able to locate any areas of tension where you might be holding a little bit of tension. So with this exercise, what you could do then if you identify tense areas or areas that maybe are a little bit uh, tender and you feel like they need a bit more of a massage, you can always go back to them at the end and just work on them for a little bit longer. So really observing what you feel, making a mental note of that, and then just put that mental note aside in your mind and bring your mind back to the breath. So breathing in, the belly expands, Breathing out, the belly shrinks back towards the spine. And just feeling that lovely, smooth flow, observing that smooth flow of breath. And remember for anybody that's joining for the first time, if you notice that you maybe feel a little bit dizzy or lightheaded as you do this breathing, what I would say to you is just don't breathe so deeply. You're probably taking in a little bit too much oxygen per breath. And if you're not used to that, it can make you feel a little bit lightheaded. It's always good with abdominal breathing if you're practicing for the first time to do it lying down until you get used to it.
And now, with your eyes still closed, bringing your hands together and again rubbing them as you did at the beginning of the massage exercise, just to generate lots of heat. Keeping the eyes closed. And this time, what you're going to do is just place one palm flat over each eye, fingers face, facing up towards the ceiling, feeling the heat from your hands. Again, going into your eyes, nourishing your eyes, but also going into your mind, nourishing your mind, calming and clearing your mind, bringing you peace of mind. And then very slowly, just giving yourself a little face wash, rubbing the face up and down. And as you do that, open the eyes. So that was a very simple Qigong face massage. And as I said, it's a really nice one if you practice it first thing in the morning. You can use it just to enliven yourself and, and make yourself feel more awake. But it's also really great if you feel tired any time during the day. And as I said, that's part of a much longer exercise, which is a whole body massage, which is in my Space to Relax program, which people learn in that. So, um, so if you want to learn more about that, I might have more details about something special with regard to the Space to Relax program by the end of the week. I'm hoping to be able to offer you something special for those of you who've been attending these classes. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, then um, you can ask me in the Facebook group, which is Space to Relax uh, Free Qigong group, or you can drop me an email at Janice at space to relax .com. And um, yeah, I hope that set you up really well for the day. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn some more Qigong from me, then you can do three things. The first thing is you can sign up for my free three-part Qigong video series, which will be delivered to your email over the course of around a week. And you'll find the link to sign up for that on my homepage on my website, which is spacetorelax.com. The second thing you can do is sign up and join me for the Zoom live classes, which are on Tuesday mornings and Thursday afternoons, and they'll be for the duration of COVID-19. So I'll put the link next to this video somewhere either below or above so you can sign up and join me there. And the third thing you can do if you're watching this video on YouTube is hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. If you did enjoy this video, then please share it with your family and friends. Hopefully they'll join in and uh, have some fun with practicing Qigong too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.